Holy major tone shift, Batman! What happened? So as with every year, Comic-Con brings us some new footage, new trailers. Let's talk about the new Justice League footage. I put footage in quotes because that's what Warner Brothers did. They did not call this a Justice League trailer, even though uh, everybody's calling it a trailer. Definitely a major tone shift. Wow. Wow. Okay, we got Jack White playing the guitar. We got Bruce Wayne making quips. We got all sorts of stuff that we have not seen in any DC movie uh, thus far. We got jokes. We got quips. We got pop music playing. Although, a little dated. Icky thump. A little, little dated. This is definitely a lighter, Marvel-inspired change of direction. It re I mean, it, it was clear before that DC was trying to do the Marvel thing. Uh, they were just rushing it. And now they're just, they just did a complete about face and they're, we're going in this direction now. Sorry, sorry. We're just doing Marvel. Uh, Bruce Wayne is now Tony Stark. Fun tone. I was curious to see the scene in this trailer between Bruce Wayne and Barry Allen because my best friend Frosty at Collider, he talked about his trip over to England where he watched a scene from the Justice League movie being filmed. And then he came back over here and had an entire episode of Collider where he talked about that scene. And I was like, are we spoiling the scene? What's going on? And then you flash forward to right now, and it's like, oh, they, if they had always planned on putting that scene in the trailer, then I guess it makes sense. He throws the batarang and then it stops, goes into slow motion as it passes by Barry Allen. He's looking at, sort of realizing like, oh, this guy's Batman. And in that amount of time, just decides he wants to be a part of the Justice League. It did seem like they were trying to beef up Aquaman to sort of counter his, I'll, I'll say, perceived lameness. Bruce Wayne even says, well, here you can talk to fish. <laughs> Silly Aquaman. I feel like they kind of were like, oh no, okay, we're gonna get Jason Momoa and he's gonna be like six foot nine and just buff and he's gonna take Bruce Wayne and he's gonna throw him against a wall and he's gonna be like, Aquaman's awesome. It's, you could just be Aquaman and be awesome. Being able to communicate with every underwater species of animal, it's a pretty big superpower. Uh, not sure if we needed the uh, beefed up version of Aquaman, but I'll go along with it. Cyborg looked cool. We didn't really get to know him at all, really. There was, I mean, those, those scenes in an email in Batman v Superman, that's pretty much all we got. He had this line that said, I didn't know you were real. Or, I, I heard of you, I didn't know if you were real. Uh, this is after Batman v Superman, right? Because Batman fought Doomsday publicly uh, in Gotham City. Not only that, but we had an entire movie where Batman, this bat vigilante, was famous for putting brands on criminals' chests and sending them to prison with a big bat logo. And it's like, I didn't know you were real. And as my best friend Mr. Sunday Movies pointed out, Cyborg is wearing a Gotham City University or Gotham University jacket. So if he's going to Gotham University and he lives in Gotham, he's saying he didn't know if Batman was real. I guess it's just this suspension of disbelief thing in comics where, okay, we as the comic book reader are only viewing the comic book through the lens of the superhero, but we're supposed to imagine that eh, everybody in the city of Gotham might not know if Batman's real or if he's not real. Maybe. Overall, I'm, I'm interested. I think cleaning up Batman v Superman is gonna be quite the chore. Um, we kinda know Superman's gonna come back from the dead. It's not really that big of a reveal, but I'm interested. I'm interested to see where this goes. Let's see what happens. So guys, those are my thoughts on the Justice League trailer, or should I say, Comic-Con footage. Did you see it? What did you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, and you wanna see any more of my ramblings about movies, you can always click right there to subscribe. I don't know what's going on with DC and guitar licks. Uh, there is a DC guitar thing happening and don't know what's going on. Got no bloopers for this one.